What's up guys, Tech Geek Joshua here, and I'm here to talk to you about a phone that I'll be doing a full review on, and this phone is the Google Pixel 2 XL, as I have mentioned in my previous video, where I did a first impression of the thing. So I want to talk about this phone, with the full complete review, the specs, everything on this phone. So let's start. So this phone came out on October 2017 with the starting price of $850, which is $50 cheaper than the Google Pixel 7 Pro. And we'll see how this $850 phone uh, is compared to the phones we have now. So first things first, I do want to talk about the exterior of this phone. So this phone has a white metal bottom that doesn't leave any fingerprints behind it. And the black glass top which does leave fingerprints on it. Which is kind of reasonable for Google because Google has this thing where they make great styles with two tone colors which is actually very unique. So this phone has, has USB-C like any other of uh, Android does. And they have a single camera right here. And it's very unique, so I'll talk about the camera later. And I'll get to the point where uh it has flat I mean it has round edges and flat uh side and has a um orange power button, which is uh something Google does. Then it has a has a fingerprint reader which I'll talk about in the future too. And we're going to get to the screen in a little bit. Now that we talked about the exterior, I want to talk about the display in this phone. So the display, it has a 6.0 display size, which is not the full size of the phone, but the screen size. It has a P-OLED screen with QHD resolution, a selfie camera, and speakers on the front which is on the top and the bottom of the phone which is unique and i'll get to that in a little bit so the speakers is right here because because on the bottom the phone usually plays on the, from the bottom on what on pretty much any phones but when it comes to speakers on the top of the phone it allows you to have a better sound quality and more premium feeling so that the sound is going directly to your face and not coming out of your hand muffled which is actually a very good thing about this phone and we're gonna get to the specs of this phone very soon so I would do want to talk about the specs now now I do want to get to the specs of this phone so for the specs I'm gonna show you using Geekbench and in Geekbench, we can see that the uh, that the chipset it uses Qualcomm eight thirty five with four gigabytes of memory on this phone, which is actually decent, and it supports sixty four gigabytes or one hundred twenty eight gigabytes without expansion. Unfortunately, I just wish uh, a lot of Androids would have like storage expansions which would be very helpful for people who just end up filling their storage a lot so that's why uh it has no expansions uh the battery is decent it has 3520 milliamps battery which is actually uh kind of decent but not as good as uh 5,000 milliamps battery on the new phones. The software supports Android 11, which is actually very nice. It has some features. Uh, when it started, the phone had Android 8. So that's not much from a phone like this, but Android 11 is actually good. The POLED screen, however, it's, it has a flash rate we first rate of 90 hertz which is about like uh in between uh low and high so that's actually a good thing though and i'm gonna talk about the camera next year 
the Google Pixel 2 XL has a single camera. The rear camera is a 12 point megapixel with OIS and portrait mode. With the 12.2 megapixel camera, it has up to 7 times the zoom and in nice quality with AI processing to process images, which is actually very nice feature here. So, it has night sight, which is actually very useful for like night photography or night photos if you want to take pictures. And the portrait mode is actually very great. It's great and all, but it definitely needs a little bit of improvement to some things, but it's still in very good quality. Now we have the video, which has up to five times the zoom and decent quality, but it's still very grainy. So you don't really want that. It has stabilization support, which is uh, kind of decent, but Definitely needs a little bit of improvement. To compete with the phones we have now, it has five times zoom, which you just saw. And it has slow motion with up to uh, one eighth the frame, which is decent. It has time lapse, which is up to 100 times the speed, which is good for sunsets, which is said. So I agree with Google right there. The modes they have, they have panorama mode, which is actually very nice. But you might want to keep your phone still moving around. It's actually very nice quality. The photo spear, they have the photo spear, which actually lets you take the photos up to uh, 60 degrees. I mean, 360 degrees. And they have, they have the um, playground here which allows you to play with the little stickers here. It allows you to play with stickers, interactive ones, which is actually very interesting. Unfortunately, we don't have that on modern phones by now. So that's actually a very interesting feature that the 2XL have. It has Google Lens like our Google Pixels do. So this Google Lens here is actually very nice. And now we're going to be talking about the features that this phone have that are very interesting and sounds very cool. The features on this phone is very interesting. So as you may know that Google has an assistant which plays assistance by saying hey Google or you know. but. They also have something else that is called the squeeze feature where you basically squeeze from the bottom part of the phone you squeeze it and it unlocks the assistance for you which is actually very nice what i do want to talk about is the magic eraser here which is actually a part of the phone so the magic eraser what it basically does is remove the subject from the photo like a one two subjects like for example this thing we don't want that so we're gonna circle it and we're gonna get it removed it takes a while for it to process but it's definitely gonna work but for a file like this magic eraser actually does remove and replaces the subject using ai as you just see here it just removed from existence and as you can see, the photo looks better now. It's just a flower. So that's definitely a great thing about this phone that you won't want. The next thing they also have is when, is when it's involving the volume button. So you click the volume button and there's a button right here that displays the live captions when it's available on devices. So when you're calling somebody and you use the live captions, it may affect the battery a little bit, but it don't work. It's very accurate. I love using the live captions. It's perfect for me because I'm a deaf person. So that's a great thing about this phone. And they have this thing where you can adjust the sound, such as medium volume, call volume, ring, ring and notification volume, and alarm. 
so you can adjust it to however you want. So that's definitely a great thing about this phone. They do have a fingerprint sensor in the back, so when you turn off the phone and you go to the back of it, there's a fingerprint sensor which unlocks your phone, which is definitely a great thing. It's not very accurate if you just put like one position of your fingernails on it, but if you put multiple on it, it's definitely going to be more accurate. So that's a great thing about this phone. So, there are things about this phone that I completely dislike. It's that there's no headphone jacks in the bottom or on the top or anywhere. There's no headphone jacks. And especially there's no wireless charging, which means I can't really charge my phone when it gets low on battery. And it has a camera hump, which is like slightly noticeable. And it makes it very annoying when you just want to like tap in the phone here and you're just tapping this phone just moves it. It just like when you're just tapping on something, it just pushes the phone upwards from the from the hump. Which is definitely what I dislike about this phone. And I do not know what sim carriers they are working with. But I do remember it's seen that it only works for Voyager, but I don't know about T-Mobile, so I'm going to definitely see about this one soon. This is the full complete review of this phone for $850. Do you think this Google Pixel 2 XL is worth it in 2023? Let me know what you think down in the comments, and I'll see you guys when I touch this phone in the near future. See ya.